surface and white water is to never have ropes with moving water, which is exactly what kiting is. Those lines could get stuck in a piece of wood, they could get stuck in a rock. There's definitely many things that could go wrong. The mission is always to do something that's never been foredone and to experience something that you could have only dreamt about previously. With kite surfing, you're harnessing many different elements. You're riding a surfboard across water and you are utilizing the wind power up in the atmosphere to drag you along, sort of like a wakeboard boat. There's many different applications that we can do on a river with a okay. kite that you couldn't do with any other sport. The wind is, going... is it possible to go against the will of a river? Okay. It feels windy, but it's just not, unfortunately. What happens is since there's these cliffs, the wind wants to go over it. So there's a big dead patch right over the rapids. So like, I felt good, and right when I was about to get on my board, the wind just died. Ah! Such a waste. But the wind isn't cooperating. It's really conditions based. It's whether the water's working, it's whether the wind's working, and you're only really as good as the conditions allow you to be. When he has these little defeats, what's gonna happen is he will be so pissed. He's gonna go really quiet and we just let him go that route and then when he wakes up in the morning he's got that little light bulb above his head where he's he owns it. He'll know exactly what to do. The only frustration is that you put all this time into something and you weren't able to get it but we're gonna be back here when the conditions are on point. Would you say it's windier than last time we were here? It's way windier, but it's probably 25. Comparing conditions from last year to this is like, I would say comparing apples and oranges. The water was much colder. It was 42 degrees out. The wind was blowing 25 knots and the wind chill was real. To be honest, it was probably some of the worst wind I've ever kited. my mistake to not have noticed that there was telephone poles on either side of the river and well there's probably something in between connecting them but I was so focused on not getting flown into trees dodging logs even just dropping my kite because it was so gusty that by the time I saw it, it was too late the bummer was my session was done after that When everything lined it up, it was like, all right, I'm finally doing it. Everything is like working. I'm actually just doing it. If I do get an opportunity with a crazy river somewhere else, I'll be the first one to sign up to go challenge myself there. But here in Montana on the Yellowstone, it'll always be that beginning for a new way to experience water and a new way to kite surf.